Hello my beautiful drone flying friends. So today we're gonna to answer the question why your battery is dying so fast. If you're new to this channel, please remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification because I'm gonna talk about everything drones, I'm gonna do product reviews, accessory reviews, and I'm gonna share that with you. Also, go check out droneflyingpro.com for all of the tips that I've learned throughout flying my drones. So when you have a drone, the one thing you want it to do is stay in the air for as long as humanly possible. Now, that just means, you know, you're more likely to get the shots you want, you're more likely to have fun, uh, you may come across some fun things, you may want to fly as far away as possible uh, within the line of sight, and uh, yeah, see what's around there and then come back. And all that relies on a long flight time. And the one thing that will allow you to do that is the battery. Um, now DJI have a load of intelligent and smart batteries and smaller hobby drones um, can have sort of pluggable um, lithium polymer batteries that you plug in and out and charge separately. Um, but all of these tips are essentially suitable for any sort of drone flying you're doing. So if you're finding that you're going out and your drone isn't lasting for as long as you want it to, here are the top three reasons that I think you could not be getting the flight times that you expect or want. The first one is all about you and the way that you fly. So if you are a particularly aggressive flyer, um, you may be draining the battery more than you think you are. So when you're flying a drone, essentially it's trying its best to stay stable in the air, nice and flat, you know, for photography, it's keeping the camera down, you know, all of that sort of stuff. It's just constantly working hard to battle all the environmental conditions. And then if you're accelerating fast, if you're um, doing quick maneuvers, if you've got it in sport mode, so for example, the DJI Mavic series have a sport button you can toggle across, which gives maximum acceleration. So if you're accelerating, stopping, going back, going to the left, like all of this requires extra power because as a drone is flying forward, it's got that forward momentum. And the moment you decide to stop or you pull it back or pull it to the side, not only does it have to exert the energy to, um, to move in that direction, but it also has to overcome its own momentum. So if you find that you're a particularly aggressive flyer and you want to get somewhere quick or fast or whatever, um, chill out. Uh, yeah, there's a few ways you can do this. So first of all, you can recalibrate the um, throttle and the response of the drone to the sticks on the controller. So you can do that in your DJI controller um, and in the DJI Go 4 app. Um, and secondly, you can just turn off sports mode and some drones have a beginner mode which limits its like top speed and its ability to do crazy maneuvers. So maybe consider putting it in beginner mode um, and also some of the cinema graphic and uh, photographer and camera drones have what they call a uh, uh, oh, cinema graphic mode or uh, cinematography, what's it called? Cinema mode or something like that. So uh, you can move slowly, you know, no matter how fast you push the joysticks, it limits the drone's movement. So if you're finding that, uh, yeah, you want to move somewhere fast and it, you're zooming around and your drone battery is lasting for, you know, a fraction of the time that you expect it to, then use those approaches um, and see if that improves your flight time. The second biggest reason why your drone battery may not be lasting for as long as you want it to are wind conditions and the environmental conditions. So if it is a nice uh, calm day with no winds, then your drone doesn't have to work as hard. Now you'll notice that on all of the DJI sort of stuff, all the DJI spec sheets, all the DJI um, uh, marketing materials, you will see them quote a maximum hover time where there are no winds. And that is because the drone has to just keep itself steady and not battle any winds or, or drift caused by environmental conditions. Now some of the worst flight times I've got is when I have been out in the ocean or flying over cliffs, um, particularly windy days, 
uh, just in, you know, it just drains the battery so much because the drone is trying its absolute hardest to stay in the GPS location um, and also just sort of like move smoothly and overcome any wind gusts or something. Um, one thing I found is while flying out over cliffs, the updraft from cliff can really sort of drain that battery uh, while the drone just, you know, has to combat a load of things and it does it automatically. So you don't consciously, you're not consciously aware of it, but it can drain your battery a lot. So there we are. So the environmental and wind conditions, um, a rule of thumb is don't fly in winds higher than two thirds of the maximum acceleration or speed of your drone. Um, that means then you can fly safely, uh, but the higher it, the winds are and the closer the winds are to that maximum speed, the shorter your duration will be. So choose nice calm days and never be afraid of backing out of a flight if the winds just don't allow it. Okay, and the third reason is all about the battery itself. It may be that you have got a dodgy battery. Now, this video is based on a massive article that I've done where I've got far more in-depth uh, recommendations and other tips. So go to droneflyingpro.com and in the little search area, type in why does my drone battery die so fast? And you will come across the article that this video is based on. But essentially, this little piece of uh, plastic, lithium, conductive polymer, metal, um, can just go bad. So these are rated, you know, for between about 200 and 300 flights and charges. So if you've got a second hand drone like I bought, um, it may be that you've got a number of flights on the, on the uh, battery already. You can check that in the DJI GO 4 app as well by going to the battery um, icon. Um, in the main settings and yeah, it may be that the battery is just bad. So these are lithium polymer batteries. Now lithium polymer batteries are a relatively new technology uh, and they essentially are really light and incredibly powerful and energy dense. And what that means is it's perfect for drones. It's lightweight, but contains all the energy you need to fly. Um, and there's a sort of, because of that technology, there's a very specific way that you need to treat and look after these batteries. So other batteries are fine, like the one in my toothbrush, I just don't really think about that often. I just brush, put it away, you know, whatever. I just don't really think about it. These take a much more, you need to take a much more careful approach with these batteries. So, um, you need to store them in a dry and secure place. You can also buy battery fire protectors that these sit in. If you're not gonna use these for a long time, or if you're taking them into particularly hot or weird environments, you can buy a protective cover slip um, to protect your batteries during transport and storage. But the biggest thing is that these aren't like normal rechargeable batteries. You need to not let them get down to zero. If you let these bad boys get down to zero, they will die completely. So here's kind of a couple of rules of thumb. Okay, so you need to store at about 60 to 80% if you're between one and 10 days. So if you're flying every week or every couple of weeks, store about 60 to 80% and then charge them up just before you head out. That will keep the, the uh, lithium polymer sort of battery in perfect working condition for the entirety of the 200 to 300 flights. And if you're, um, if you're storing them for longer than sort of 10 days for say a couple of months, then you should store them about 50%. So between 40 and 60% full. Now these smart batteries will do that themselves. So if I charge these up and put them away, they will just uh, automatically discharge until they reach that safe level, which is fantastic. So thanks, DJ, you probably saved me a fortune in new batteries. Um, and if you're storing it for longer than three months, you must go in and charge them up because you run the risk of letting these run down to zero and then they will just be absolutely wasteless, uh, useless and it will be an absolute waste. So um, yeah, uh, these are relatively expensive as well. So you don't want to treat these badly, treat them with respect and they will last a very long time. 
So those are my top three things. Now this video is based on an article, so go check out that on droneflyingpro.com and type in why does my drone battery die so fast and you'll end up with all of the information you need, much more detail than I can cover in this video alone. So if you're new to this channel, please remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification because that means a lot to me and I wanna share everything I've learned about flying the drones and drone maintenance tips, tricks, and everything with you. Um, I'll also be doing product reviews and accessory reviews in the near future and I can't wait to share that with you. Happy drone flying and I shall see you in the next video.